The Buddhijita is very important or oh, generate the Buddhijita. The Buddhijita is meaning is uh, we can say big mind or a tourist mind, a tourist mind. And of course including the compassion love, but uh, between compassion, love and the Buddhijita is a little different, right? Because compassion love, we can say love your mother, love your father, and compassion your child or your children, so that is also can be. But the genuine compassion love is the real Buddhicitta. That is the genuine compassion love is you can generate compassion all the sentient beings, even insects. You know? So that is the Buddhicitta. So the Buddhicitta is the basis of enlightenment. You know, if we have no Buddhicitta and then it's no possible to attain enlightenment. So therefore this Buddhicitta is very, very important for enlightenment. And then now, what we can do, the Buddhicitta, or what is Buddhicitta? The Buddhicitta means we have to think all the sentient beings, how we can to help the other sentient beings who have so much suffering, difficulties, and think. Of course, in Buddhicitta, there's different levels and different explanations, kind of, um, uh, you know, Darjin Jeva or Darjin Nyamba La Sopa, sort of. And that in Tibet. And uh, that means is that we have to really consider to others. and then ourselves, you know. Normally we say that we are the important than the, the others. And therefore we need the Buddhicitta, the genuine compassion, love. Yeah? The genuine love, compassion, we always think of others, you know. Even I have nothing, but I really wanted to help other beings who is really difficult to see situations and the sufferings in the sentient beings, uh, in the suffering, in the samsara. And that is really, and then of course we, uh, when we say Buddhicitta or Shang Chepkasem, Saying is very easy, but doing is very difficult. Because the Buddhicitta or the Shang Cham is extraordinary thinking. Why? Because we think others much more important than ourselves. You know, you see, that is very difficult. But we can try, we can try, because everyone wants to be enlightenment. You know? If you want to enlighten, we need Buddhicitta, because Buddhicitta is the basic of enlightenment. Without Buddhicitta, we cannot enlighten. You know? So therefore, it's very important. So now, what is enlightenment? Enlightenment means is peace and happy and joy forever. That is the enlightenment. The enlightenment meaning is like 
uh, we go to up there and there is light and not like that, you know. Enlightenment is we are at peace and mind is peace, calm down. There is no sorrow anymore in your mind and completely the open mind or you can say big or open mind. You know, that is really important for everyone. So, that is the every practitioners have to learn, I think. But not only the practitioners, but all the beings need that attitude or the motivation. And it's changing the motivation, or we can say also kind of, uh, you know, the motivation is when we practice or when what we do, things, and we always the purpose for ourselves, not for others, you know. So if you really have the Buddhicitta and you can benefit all the sentient beings and all this planet and human beings, even someone really Buddhicitta who has really Buddhicitta and this person can benefit many people also in the, this our human labor, you know. For example, someone who has Bodhicitta as president or leaders, and this person can help much more powerful than the who has ego, selfish attitude. You know? That is the, the Bodhicitta, how much they have the uh, uh, power or benefit. You know? So that is, um, <clears throat> but, uh, but there is of course uh, different levels and different, that is I think uh, it's not easy to understand. We don't need to uh, talk this. The mainly is compassion and love and altruism mind, you know. So this is the really we need for our mind, for others. And if we really want to training the mind, or peace mind, we need that. So that is uh, Bodhicitta. So, then, sentient beings, we said all the sentient beings, no? That is the imagination, because we don't know how many sentient beings in this planet form. The formless beings also. What we see in the animals now. And not only this, there's many formless beings too. So they have also suffering too. So that is the also including sentient beings. And now, you know, that is okay. But what we see, the beings, we should respect these beings as animals, like, who live around us, you know, like deers, and other like cows, horses, uh, sheep, uh, fish, birds, you know. We cannot kill them, and, but we eat them. So that is really terrible. You know, they have uh, so much suffering, you know. They also, they want to be happy, you see. And every, every sentient being's movement, you know, in the, even the insects is walking and moving all the time. The people also walking all the day. Why? Because they're looking for happiness. You see, you're deeply thinking about it and what really they're moving all the time. Because each beings they're looking for happiness. For example, one Tiger. Tiger is walking in the wild line. 
and he looking for eating someone like deers or maybe other animal I look like he's dangerous because he eat others but his main thing is he want to be happy because he want to feed himself because he's hungry when he's hungry he's suffering now he can feed himself and then after his stomach is full and he's happy so that is the reason why the old animals are moving and the human beings is the same human beings are also the same when you go to in the subway or in the cities you know so many people like this you know walking and then you deeply thinking oh what she want what he want where he goes what she goes and they want to each person has a goal to reach a goal that that goal is for example someone want to go to shop to buy food and of course they look like uh, they go to buy food They're not looking for the happiness but the the food is for happiness if you eat the food you are stomach is full and then you are happy when you are stomach is empty and then it's a suffering that is the look going to the shop or the looking for this and then someone who goes to in the shop who is really fancy clothes it's very expensive clothes you know go there and they buy very expensive clothes but also they want to be happy because when they get the uh, nice clothes they they think is I feel is happy huh? and that is the, this happiness is our it's a temporary happiness not for every happiness you know that is the difference is happiness and a happy hour happy you know so now every sentient beings want to happiness but how we can get happiness huh? this is question that is the one thing is if we are human beings right because we are human beings are special than the other animals or the other beings because we have the intellectual we can do something more than this so that is we have chance we can do so then we can do what we can do we can do first we generate the compassion or love and which is as buddhicitta we benefit to the other beings you know so that is the how the, uh, the buddhicitta need for us for all for all the sentient beings you know therefore the buddha shakyamuni first he generate the compassion love or the buddhicitta you know for the old sentient beings he see he saw the old sufferings difficulties all the beings who is getting old sick you know difficulties in lives so therefore he became as monk and he left from the family and became monk and then practiced the dharma and then he find how to get enlightenment that means is how you can get a real happiness forever not only temporarily happiness you know so that is the why we need buddhicitta you know so this is the buddhicitta so please if you want to practice you practice buddhicitta every day you think others and that is a benefit for yourself and for others you know of course buddhicitta first we have to know ourselves otherwise we have no chance to uh, generate the compassion love others because we don't know ourselves we need the compassion ourselves we need the compassion uh, love ourselves that means is we have the feeling the emotion the thought hmm? when we have negative feeling negative emotions what our feel is difficult 
is painful, suffering. No? When our feel is good, and then our we said we are happy, right? But this is a temporary happiness. You see? Now I understanding my emotion, my feeling, when I'm sad, painful, I'm really suffering. And when I'm happy, and I'm really, my feel is very, very well. And now I know my feeling, emotion, I have this feeling, the feeling of sorrow and happy, or pleasure. So now I can exchange the other beings like me, nothing else. They have feeling, emotions, you know. So then we have the idea, okay, now we are the same. All the sentient beings want to be happy. No one want to be suffer. You know, that is the, really the point. So therefore, the Bodhicitta is for this. Hmm? And that is what we can practice. This is the, the we said, okay, Buddhism, 